I am Elias. Um, football and basketball brings me joy and confidence. And something that you'll be surprised to know about me is um, I like to listen to old school R&B sometimes. Um, popcorn, Sanaya. Um, I am Sanaya. Music and school gives me joy and confidence. And something that most people will be surprised to know about me is that I am taking a Russian class in college, so. I popcorn Dupree. Uh, my name is Dupree Posey. Um, basketball nature give me confidence and courage. Um, one thing that you may not have known about me is that I like long walks, especially at night. I popcorn Deja. I am Deja A. Coloring and music give me joy. And one thing that will surprise you about me is like, I love cereal. Um, popcorn Kyra. My name is Kyra. He's just there. Going outside and helping the environment brings me joy. One thing you'll be surprised about me is that I'm very flexible. Popcorn Jemaya. I am Jemaya Kusick. Dancing and volleyball brings me joy and confidence. And something you'll be surprised to know about me is that I like to do hair. Popcorn Octavius. Mm, I'm Octavius, something that brings me joy. I like playing football, uh, something that brings me confidence. Oh, something that brings me joy. I like uh, playing I like playing football and something that brings me confidence. I like doing art and something that gave me hope. My mom. That's great. That's great. Uh, before we start, I just got a little joke for everybody, you know, just break a little tension. Uh, yeah, what, did comedian, the, man. <laughs> what did the duck say when she bought lipstick? Put it on my bill. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, uh, I want to start off by saying, uh, you know, everybody is doing their best during COVID. And I know the libraries have been, you know, stacked in a good and bad way because you got new and old people coming in. But uh, one of the things I wanted to bring up and talk about was, um, uh, you know, putting up signs and how they set up the library. Um, newer libraries like mine have been like redone like six or seven times. They actually turn on the lights manually. So everything is manual, like the machines turn on, by themselves, the lights turn on by like 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. And when the uh, librarians walk in, what they do is they basically just set up the books and set up like shelves and get books out of the way. Um, and I wanted to say that I think that um, something that can help them out is being more open-minded about putting up signs like we were talking about before, um, you know, stuff to help people figure out what's going on. Because you walk into a library, you're not really going to know what to expect. You know, you're going to think, oh, let me go get a book. Let me go to the computer. And so it's important that we give people signs and we try to help them through it, you know, because sometimes the best stuff you can give to someone is mental help, helping them figure out something, helping them achieve something. So that's really important. And what um, librarians try to strive when they're uh, working with youth and adults in the libraries. Um, I agree with the uh, mental health. Um, one thing I think that libraries should do is um, get to know their community. Like, it's very important to know um, the youth and like, a youth that comes in, like, they're not coming in to, like, make a relationship. They're coming there to, like, get help on, like, what they need or, like, with books or, like, homework. But if a librarian is coming in there, they're helping, like, the youth, like, they're um, creating a relationship, a bond with the youth. A youth will feel more welcome in the library, and he'll feel more respected. Um, some ideas I um, could give you guys to um, get connected with the youth is to like have activities with the youth, like, and have like treats. Cause you know, youth, if you tell them there's treats gonna be there, they, they're gonna wanna come, they're gonna wanna be um, participating. Um, and because we're in a pandemic too, if you can't do that, we can have um, virtual events too. You guys can host virtual events with the youth, like bingo or like um, Kahoot events. And like, you know, just, just try to like get engaged with the youth, try to build a um, relationship 
you can have youth mentorship programs with the youth to um, know how their day is going, how how they're doing in school, and how is this um, pandemic affecting them? Because um, youth mental health, like Japri said, is very important to know and um, how to make sure they're okay. Um, another way to um, like spread the um, spread your local library is to um, send mail out or like email to um, youth, like their addresses, to let them know like if they have like activities going on or if they have like new books out because like you know kids they like to read like sports books comics or like you know harry potter and stuff like that if they have yeah. like the new harry potter book then you know um they'll want to come there try to rent the book out and like or check it out or probably like um order it online too and then just come and pick it up but like those are just some suggestions to like um attract the youth to come to um the library I agree with y'all, but also, um, I know, like, the librarians coming from, it is a pandemic going on, and, like, they can't, they still have to have social distance six feet away, and still have to have their mask on, but they also should be kind about the whole, like, everything that's going on, so they can't be right next to somebody helping somebody out, and they have to, like, they should have their website that they want to do. I agree. Um, oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, another thing also I should add to that, um, they should like um start like virtual book clubs too. That'll that'll yes. um, that be good yes. for kids. Yes, there we I go. know like they probably can't like be able to like uh, meet up and like talk about books like in person. So they can do it virtually. Like you know how we're on the Zoom or Google Meet. They can read yeah. a chapter of the book and they come back and talk about it. You know, it could be like a um, interesting book or whatever. And they like they just come and talk about it. You know, make jokes, have fun. It's very entertaining too. And they can like probably have like snacks and stuff too. Um, I think I, was, I definitely agree. With, oh, you want to go? Okay. Yeah. Um, I was just gonna say that when youth come in, like greet them and like make them feel welcome. Don't like just like start telling them the rules of the library. Like come, let let them come in. Say how's your day going? Or like hi, can I help you? Like don't just get to telling rules because then it seem like. Like, I don't want to be here. Like, y'all got all these rules going on, so why would I want to stay? But if you, like, greet them and then let them, like, tell you about their day, tell them, like, have a conversation and then get into the rules after to make them feel welcome instead of, like, just, like, you have to do this and you have to do that. I agree with what just said. And for me to add on that, I said when you when you giving the rules, like, be respectful while giving the rules. Don't. Oh yeah, this is the rules. This is the rules, and what the rule. young uh, youth is going like for you myself. I'm just going to look at you like, really, all these rules. Then just yeah, walk away. But yeah, I agree with what she said. Yeah, like yeah, it's I, very important to like to like start a relationship before you like try to give out like be direct like. Start off with like, how's your day? How, how are you doing? Um, can you tell me your name or like, you know, just tell them, ask them what you, what they're here for. How can I help you? It's all about like respect. And if you if you're giving respect, you'll get respect in return. And like, if they if if somebody sees that you're getting respect, you know, they could recommend somebody to this library. They can bring it's more a, people in. Um, so like, that just I feel like we're talking enough about that. We said like a lot of our respect and everything. Um, let's try to change it up and like tell them something different. I feel like um, oh, go ahead, I wanted to you know acknowledge that um, COVID is going around and there are many like libraries getting shut down and many like librarians losing their jobs and everything. So I feel like we should have also be more respectful and getting to acknowledge that they are going through like everything as well like um, I know that they are faced with a lot of budget cuts now um, I know there's some staff losing their jobs so I definitely think that's something we should also look out for um, I also think that our schools should like be more interactive with other libraries outside because we're not in school 24 7 and it's not open access all the time so even having our schools kind of like having that like availability or like opportunity for us to you know go outside and be creative and go into these libraries, you know, to get focus and even like to maybe like, I know even like they could have scholarships at the library, you know, even stuff like that. And definitely bring kids in and 
have them like you know it's just such a good opportunity like even though little things could make a big impact so yeah i agree with that i believe like the school should really be um involved in programs with the library to get um youth connected so like you know how school like um promotes like programs and stuff i think like the library should like connect with the schools like for example um uh, my district is st paul public schools I think that St. Paul Public Libraries and St. Paul Public Schools should get connected to get programs for youth to get out the house and like, or just be involved in something like an activity, because it's very important for your mental health to like, be like, engaged in something because if you're just sitting in the house all day, it's, it's not healthy for you. No, I agree with I agree with what Eli said too, because the school that I'm going to right now, they they like they literally do everything what he's saying like go outside yeah you get your credits from what you learn outside and you can get credits inside of school too so i agree with what he's saying right and then i think another thing we need to talk about um is like the funding for the libraries comes from uh i believe the state or the state or government but what's important is that the people that work at the library they're the ones that make the magic happen they're the ones that operate everything clean and sanitary make everything sanitary and so um they also have to work as a unit as a whole team um cooperation comes in many forms but they gotta understand that you know, it's 2021, you're gonna be dealing with all races, sexuality, orientations, you know, and that it's important for them to be a whole team and to work together so that the library can run smoothly because if they're not a single unit, the library will collapse. It'll be different parts, different situations. So them alone, just understanding each other. Okay, you take this section, I'll take that section. I'll be behind this desk, be behind that desk, helping people with returns, renewals, um, paying off debts and stuff. That's the stuff that a lot of people don't talk about because um, they figure, oh, you're just getting paid to stand around and tell people to be quiet and not to run. I think the job is really important because it's like, um, it's like they're teachers, but they're not just in their own classroom. It's like they're a bunch of teachers working together in one classroom to keep it sustainable for everybody. And so um, that's why, you know, even together, it's not any one person that can do it. It's a team and they have to work together. I totally agree with the three on that. Um, a lot of people do be thinking like, um, like they aren't just sit there and get paid, but also they do work. They're not doing it. They do work sometimes when you're there, but they do work before and after. Um, I also agree with what Japri said, like um, having the librarians working like their sections because that can help out with um, socially distancing too. So like, um, because my local library is not as big, but it's, it's still like, um, it's still big. So like, if they were to like um, work in sections and like get the youth in there and they can be able to social distance, but still get the youth involved in person in activities or like learning. I definitely was gonna agree with like going back to where Elias said, like getting to know like their community and their youth a lot more um, because like everything that's been going on in 2020 in the past like few years, like even like having like talks or even stuff like that will bring more people to wanna come together. And you know, many people don't like to speak about the problems or issues that's going on in the community or in the world. So even like having someone to talk to um, could definitely be a big help for the youth. Yeah, yeah, I agree with right. Benaya. Like, I agree with Elias said about, like, making sure that they, like, know the people that's coming in. Not really know them, but just try to make sure they have a conversation with them about their day. But also, like, making sure that they have what they need because some it's sometimes it's hard to find what you need in libraries. Like, so making sure that the youth have what they need or what they came for before they leave and not just, like, trying to be like, oh, your time's up, but, like, actually making sure, like, they got what they needed when for what they came there for. Yeah, I definitely agree. I feel like um, people would, would read, like read a lot more. I know there's like maybe not people who have like such privileges as being like in a house or having food every day. So and they kind of struggle, you know, with having food. So they would have to go to maybe like a shelter. And even when they go to those shelters, they'll be able to have put, like books provided to them and maybe even library cards to even like go and like be able to like like not educate, but like 
further themselves more like to have a better future very true very true and um i think that the idea of the book club was amazing i think that's really good like a virtual book club where yeah. um you know you all get a book and then you talk about it i also feel like um something you need to do is create like an art team and uh my yeah. um local library did this they uh redid the letters in the library so they're colorful they were black or like metallic before they painted around the library and then they put up stuff um going down the street from the library to signal where it was a lot of these libraries have new modern looks but if it wasn't for like a sign in front of them i would think that they're like some sort of office a lot of business city or something and so i think it's important that um if you want to draw people in if you want to make it look what it should be um they should create a way for you know people to create paintings or drawings or you know put up what they love about the library you know good messages and good vibes so people feel like it's a safe space yeah i i agree with that a True. lot because you know, putting up art on a wall or just spreading like you know positivity it shows yeah. like there could be in a safe space and they can be able to um spread like their thoughts and ideas and creativity um they could also like you know um have like cultural art there too and that, that'll be like interesting too for like other youth of different cultures. Like they could see that and they could feel welcome there. Yeah, I agree with what you, I, I agree with what Elias said. And to me, art speaks to me and I love art. I, I, I know kids that love art, that love to draw and going to a library that for art, I would love to go to a library every day. For me, that, that's my perspective. I, I would love to go to a library that got uh, art all over the world where you look this way you can see some somebody join a little a little something that means something to them and I I, I like that just like a little reading and art like like the visual thing that you was talking about like reading and art yeah I like it I, also agree. Like, um, I was thinking like we sit in our house like almost every day and just kind of sit down and do anything so even like libraries having like a little section to, like sit down or even like like little spaces like to play games or whatever you know interact with each other because you know a lot of us stay on our phones or not actually interacting with more humans or like you know <laughs> interacting with people to actually expand our vocabulary and expand like getting to know people and finding new friends every day so that's something yeah that's and just making sure like the library feels like a safe space instead of a place that you know you have to like like you go to and then they're telling you like do this do that you want to make it feel like they're like welcome so I like the idea to put like art on the wall so people can know like this is a safe space you don't have to be like scared to come here to do your work like they should yeah I like that idea about the art yeah and I definitely agree with what Japri was saying because we like our society our generation is just so like up and like excited about everything so even having like something drawing someone to the library like because we don't want we don't like seeing like like offices or anything like that because you know that's we are kind of more like uh, like entrepreneurs and want to kind of inspire and do like like things like that so like having like the library built a little bit different compared to like how it was um, in the past would definitely I think like inspire kids to go more exactly exactly and a uh, library is more than just a place to read books it's a safe place it's a community it's a gateway for exploration it's a place where you can indulge yourself and learn new things uh librarians are teachers but they're not school teachers um one of the best parts about working in a library is um the programs they have um, but the way they're presented is pretty bad because usually the programs are announced, so you have to be there, you actually have to pay attention, or they have the little plant pamphlets, which will be like by the door, or sitting up or on the desk, and I feel like they could do a better job of that, they could create like an array of um, programs in like one pamphlet that's colorful, that stands out, because again, you know, a lot of those are like help mental help if you're homeless or stuff like that that's also important because there are a lot of teenagers nowadays that go to libraries to seek help and um i feel like uh what they should do is they should start making 
programs where people can come in and they can do specific things or workshops. Um, nobody's saying they have to do it every day, but like twice a week, like on a Monday or a Friday. Uh, my library does movie nights. They do um, uh, financing. They do all kinds of stuff for adults to come and they set it up. They always have coffee and cakes and stuff. Uh, but just taking um, taking the tools you have and putting them to use and making a better environment and pushing for more people to come in while also having them respect the rules and regulations that you have up there. I think that's a really important piece to keep the library flowing with new people who are coming to gain something and the older people who are coming because you know they actually like it there and they like that uh that place presents something that pushes them yeah i agree with the um the um more like attempt uh, like like attracting with um signs because like just putting signs on a door nobody's gonna actually notice that when you're walking in unless you actually like stop there and look like i feel like they should like do something like more like to gain your attention, like let's say like something like, like Japri said, colorful, or it can be like somebody there that like when you walk in, they can talk to you about it too. Like they can tell you like, hey, would you be interested in, um, in this workshop? And then, they, and then if you say yes or no, if you say yes, then they tell you more about it. Or they can give you a pamphlet too, like not like a pamphlet with a lot of words, but like something that's just brief. And like, it tells you like the stuff you want to see, because you know, we're, we're still we're still youth and kids. We don't want to see something that's like a full page long. We want to see something that's brief and like that gets straight to the details. True. I agree with like Dupree saying like he's like starting those programs, but I also feel like there are programs already out there. It's just the libraries aren't like being intuitive about it and making sure that people know that those opportunities are opportunities are actually there. Or even like libraries having like even if they're not having the programs themselves have like lists of like other places, maybe not even a library, but like another organization that also has opportunities for them to have a better future as well. It definitely help. Yeah, yeah it, it definitely. Oh, you can go. Yeah, you can go. I was just about to say, I feel like Rondo, Rondo Library does a good job, but like, like bringing like the energy and enthusiasm to like the youth because I when I used when I was younger I used to go there it was just like I don't know when I walked in there it was like a positive vibe it was always busy and like it was a lot of things going on they had different like activities but I used to just go there to get like my movies and stuff like that like it was like a little place where they had like the plastic bags with the movies and I used to just go there for that yeah, that's all me. That's all me. I'll be down there working hard, pushing, pushing them people around. Though we be trying to come up with all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it's it's just about the opportunity. You know, school is there to push people. Home is there for you to rest and enjoy yourself. But the library is that in between where you know it's nothing wrong with pushing them in the right direction. Because uh, every time I think of a program for opportunity, it reminds me of Youth Power. How Youth Power started off as an opportunity and it was given to a couple students and then they took it and it became this whole new type of program that is bringing new people going to new places learning new things and had I never had the opportunity things would be a lot different and so it's uh it's important you know if you think someone would be good for something introduce it to them you know even sometimes might have to introduce it to their parents too because you know kids sometimes are ignorant or they always you know think things should be done their way but yeah it's about how you introduce it to people and it also pays off too um you can you can try your hardest you can push these kids you can do these programs you never know what type of investors or investments or um corporate places that will reach out i know 3m reached out to rondo library to set up an event where kids could come through and look for jobs and uh, they had food there and they did a gift card drawing. And so it's been multiple different places I've looked and we're like, hey, this library, they're not just the average library, they stepped up, they're doing more, they're doing greater things. You know, you can tell just by the way the library runs that the staff are unified. And so those opportunities could come to any library anywhere as long as, you know, like I said, your team is good you got good energy, good vibes, and you're just, you're helping whoever comes through that door. You're reminding them, you know, no tones, no backlash. You know, it could work as good as, you know, as good as the team is. It, yeah, 
I feel like it's very important that your team has to be very well and all has to be on the same page because there could be opportunities out here and then they go to a library to look for you. But like the library might not do a good job as like spreading the um, word for the opportunity so that people can come and like uh, be able to have that opportunity in life. Like example, what he said, the 3M, like not a lot of people knew about that probably. So they didn't get the opportunity to um, be able to go to 3M and experience how like what they do at their job. And like, if possible, they could probably get an internship too if they were to be able to know about this opportunity. That's why it's very important to know your community. That's why it goes back to that. And like being able to spread the word, being able to be comfortable with your community to let them know about these things too. Yeah, also I feel like um, the library is to push youth in our direction of greatness, but school is to push education and articulation, and school and library are the same thing. Like people, people go to school. School is some people don't want to go, some people go. It's fine, but then when they go home, they don't want to be home because they like bored or anything, or they're hungry, so they go to the library like most of the time. People use the library as a safe place. I feel like when uh, it's a denied and it inspired more youth to actually go and read books. Um, because, like, when I, I, I used to hate books, like, I used to hate them, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I used to be like, this is boring. And then I read, like, um, Dear Martin, or yeah, Dear Martin. And it was like, I was like crying at the end of it. I was like, this is so good. And like, actually, like, ha like having like books that actually connect to like youth life and like, you know, bring that emotion out, like, through books and everything um i also just got done reading um born like born a crime in south Af south africa by trevor noah and it was more about like putting down language barriers and actually like, um made like maybe like taking a step to speak someone else's language can like open a whole new path and you won't have so many stereotypical like things about other or about how you view other people and stuff so like even reading those books kind of just give you an eye open to like maybe the things that you've been doing or that you've seen other people do and it just kind of makes you feel better about actually learning about it i agree I definitely agree. That's a very good point. I didn't really like books until I read Mice and the Men with my uh, classroom. And I thought that was a really good, um, really good book. And now I see like stereotypes and stuff like that and lots of cartoons and stuff. So, you know, it's not about what book they read, it's how they read it, how they're implemented into it. A book doesn't come with a trailer like a movie, but it comes with storytelling and uh, details that a movie might not have. So, you know, it's it's good to to push people in the right direction, you know, always try something new. It goes back to the book club too. Try new books and talk about it. Because for me, I know me, like, I'm not gonna go out and just try a new book unless I know what the book is about. I don't like trying new things and I mean like new books and then not liking it because then it makes me like not want to try a new book. I like reading stuff that I know what's about already. But like if I was if I was to know about like a book club or something, yeah, like because you have no choice but you have to like if you like get outvoted, you have to read the book. And then you become interested in the book eventually though. That's the good thing though. Hey Daisy Man, Jamaya, did y'all have anything to say about it? Um it's just the same for me. I it took me a while to find a book that I actually like and that I'll actually like sit down and read. Like for me, The Hate You Give was really good. So I love reading that book and I read it actually pretty fast. So it's all about making sure like they find the books that they like and they're actually reading it and trying to engage. Like even if there was a book club, just making sure that they engage in the conversation and like they're actually knowing what they read. And yeah, and I it. agree. I agree on what you're saying because I would want to read a book that relates to me or I would want to read a book that I like or that means something. So yeah, basically, yeah. I also feel like schools need to do a better job of like, Yeah. Okay. okay. I said, I also, uh, think that school should do a better job of like actually picking good books to like give to students 
because like the first few books I got when I was in school, I was like, I skipped through the pages and like didn't want to read it because it was like, it was not interesting. It was not relating to how the world was going and what needed to be changed and what needed to be fixed. Um, so like having the schools like give you books that actually like relate to like the time or even back then, which history is super important, but it's also, it's like everything in the history is so washed. When I go to school, it feels like it's washed down and it doesn't feel like it's, it's the actual truth to me. So that's why I try to like kind of read outside of school too about history because everything's like, someone can tell you one story and then another person can tell you something different. So just making sure you're doing your own research because you don't want to just believe everything you hear. So. I was just going to say what Jemaya said. I read The Hate You Give, and that book really made me, like, want to start reading more. And um, there's also another book I read. It was um, The Child Caught It. That book made me want to read more, too, because, like, it could be a movie, but I feel like a book just gives you more, like, detail. Because I watched the movie, The Hate You Give, and then I read the book before, and then I watched the movie. And like the book was better than the movie. So I was like, books give you more like detail. All right, I agree with that. Um, also, I think that the library should think about what books do the youth like and they should order more of those. So like more used to come to the library and order the books and everything. I feel like going to that, um, when they um, return a book, they can do a survey that helps them out well um what True. books that um youth like because like they could rate the book like if they liked it or disliked it and it gives the library feedback on how they should like um stock books or like or if like they should not stock those books as much because not everybody's liking that book exactly okay. i agree with you too and uh and librarian, librarians are uh, role models too, just, you know, uh, based off their wisdom alone and their years of experience and their reading. Um, that's also important, you know, sometimes people, even adults don't think things can be done, whether it be like a simple task or something that's not simple. Um, sometimes you gotta show it to them, you know, some kids don't wanna be in a book club, you know, maybe you guys could be in a book club, you know, the the librarians that work there, you know, you'd probably could be in a book club, anybody could be in a book club, you know, um, just trying to let them know that it could be done, then they kind of, they kind of think like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it, you know, uh, that's what leaders do, so they could create follow, or that's what leaders do to create more leaders, because not everybody wants to be a follower. True. Respect. It don't it don't always have to be a book club. So it could be like game club or like other things too. Sports club. Yeah, you know, yeah that's lots about of sports genres out there. Like that. Exactly. I put my hands down for game club. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I like that. Game club. Also, can we say stuff from hearing our response? Like hearing our thoughts, listening. I can't hear you. You said what? Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that one more time, please? I said also, can we thank them for listening to our like what we have to say in our opinions? Yeah. So closing off, I guess we wanna thank everyone for listening to us and actually like maybe acknowledging and seeing a whole new point of view. Um, and if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact someone. Thanks for all you sir. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, can even come, you know, you need some help. We could come in person. You know, we could take these ideas because you know, you power, we're not just all talk, you know, we we action so you know, we could we can come up, we could show you guys, we could do some stuff, we could work out workshops, it could be a couple day project, you know, working on transforming the library, you know, it's whatever. We we love working with anyone. Yeah. It's, totally it's very um it's very appreciating that you guys came to us too for feedback too uh, it means a lot actually listening to the youth and actually listening to the youth 
and like like seeing what we have to say kind of means a lot because you know youth are kind of put down a little bit so even like even listening to us kind of gives us a little bit more inspiration to want to do more and interact more with everyone exactly <laughs> Well, so we'd like to give you thank you for listening to us, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.